I am an optometrist that has a special interest in dry eye and ocular surface disease. And I probably talk about cold exposure, cold plunging, cryo, more than a lot of optometrists. And whew, that is because I have a special interest in dry eye and ocular surface disease. And a lot of times that is an inflammatory condition. There, um, inflammation plays a huge piece in this. And um, cold exposure has been shown to decrease that inflammatory response. Now, I also have dry eye and I am also a care provider that likes to vet what I'm recommending to people. So I take fish oil, I do my blink exercises, I do cold exposure. So if I'm talking to my patients about it, I've at least tried it. And um, it's not easy. It's something I have been working on for two years now. I am not historically a cold lover. I wear sweatshirts in the summer, so this is not not the easiest thing in the world, but it sure is beautiful. Um, it really gives you clarity of mind. So if you have dry eye or ocular surface disease or ocular rosacea, meibomian gland dysfunction, and you feel like you've tried everything, make sure you're talking to your doctor about possible lifestyle changes you could do, breath work, yoga, acupuncture, anything to decrease your systemic inflammation is could be helpful. Um, studies even show that acupuncture and yoga are helpful in dry eye. So, so this is not a maybe. These are things that have been proven to be effective. And if you live anywhere like Ohio, it's essentially free when you're in the winter.